Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to get a blog post out of Scrivener and into WordPress. Um, so there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Uh, the first thing you can do is you can select all of the text, copy it, uh, and just paste it into WordPress. And then you can go into WordPress uh, and lay it out as you would any other blog post. That's probably the simplest way to do it. The second way to do it is to use Scrivener's compile option. Um, now the compile tool is quite a complicated tool. Uh, I'm not going to go into it in, fully in this video, but suffice to say, you can compile a blog post as a Word document, um, or you can compile it uh, as HTML, a HTML file, um, which I have here, uh, and then click Compile, and then you can open that Word document, um, or you could open that uh, HTML file uh, and send that to an editor, or put it into WordPress, or do whatever you like with it. There's also an option here for, for PDFs, for web pages, and for various other writing formats. Um, the reason why I'm not going to go into it is that's not what I use to go from Word and uh, to WordPress. Uh, you'll notice that uh, in my blog post, uh, I'm using lots of asterisks, hashtags, uh, and other symbols. That's because I use Markdown to write my blog post. So what is Markdown? Uh, well, in the blog post about this video, um, I give some resources how you can write Markdown, but basically it's a way of using plain text characters for rendering um, text as HTML. So I'm just going to give you um, a couple of examples. Um, anything that's written with a hashtag um, corresponds to the H1 tag. So I have two hashtags here because that's a H2 heading in my blog post. Um, if I have one hashtag, it will be a H1 heading. If I had three hashtags, it will be H3 heading. Uh, and so on. Um, if you're lost at this point, uh, just know that you don't need to know Markdown to use for blogging. This is more of a tip for advanced power users. Uh, the next bit of Markdown that I can show you here is if I want to bold text, I can put two asterisks before and after the text. Uh, if I want to italicize text, I can put one asterisk before and after the text. If I want to create an inline link, I can use brackets uh, like here. So I have text here. That will be um, set, formatted as HTML link, followed by the link afterwards. Um, if I want to create a blog post quote, I can do it like this, uh, and so on. So to show you how this all comes together, um, I've pasted this uh, text into WordPress. I've installed a plugin for WordPress called Jetpack, and Jetpack automatically recognizes Markdown and turns it into HTML. And once I paste it into WordPress, WordPress will automatically turn it into this. So there's still a bit of work here I need to do with the layout. But as you can see, the links are there. The italicized and bolded text is there. The H2 heading is there. Um, so there's the H2. There's the H2. Uh, there's the link. There's the link in WordPress. So it's a great way of writing HTML much quicker. And uh, if you're thinking of any markdown, I'd say it only takes an hour, but it will save you many hours uh, in return. There's the block quote. So as you can see, uh, that's how I go from Scrivener to WordPress. Uh, and I recommend anyone um, use this method too.